Hello! Welcome back to my channel! Today we have a special guest. This is McKenna. She has been one of my closest friends for... How long have we known each other? Too many fingers. Too many fingers. It's been a long time. Um, we went to elementary school together, middle school, high school, some college together. Um, so yeah, McKenna is an OG, ride or die. Um, and she is the second person to be featured on my channel. Super. <laughs> Better be Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, right, right? My previous video that had somebody on it was with my boyfriend Jimmy, and that was when he attempted to do my makeup, and it was very entertaining. So if you haven't seen that yet, go watch that video first and then come back. It's long, but it's funny, I promise, so you'll enjoy it. Um, so yeah, so today is... My dog is outside my door, like, breathing heavily. Um, <laughs> it's fine, we're fine. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so McKenna is going to be my guest today, and I am going to be doing a kind of like western cowgirl chic kind of look on her today, and part of the reason that we're doing that is because that's just McKenna in a nutshell, um, and also because um, the Canyon Club, which a lot of people that used to go to Borderline um, go to now, um, people go to that a lot. like. They do the college nights there now and stuff, so we thought that since that's something that a lot of people in our community do, it's one of the few things in our community that you can do, mm -hmm. unless you're at a mall, there's really nothing else. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we thought that that would be kind of a cool way to do something for the people that go there, because I don't even know how many people I know that go to the Canyon Club on a oh, regular what? basis. Like, we all, we both know some people. Um, but yeah, so we thought that that would be a cool thing to do. So. She has her McKenna bun, her signature McKenna bun it's right now. It's a little now. sharky right now. It will not, it, she will not, wow, <laughs> she you. will not look like this at the end of the video. She'll, she has a whole outfit that we're going to show when we're done. Um, but yeah, so the look that we're going for today is kind of like bronzy. Um, Your girl's very white right now. True. So. We're both like in the very pale club, <laughs> so um, McKenna's actually the same shade as me in a couple foundations, which makes my life a lot easier. So we're going to be doing that, and it's going to be very bronzy, very, like, bronzy natural, kind of. No winged liner today, because I, I don't think I could attempt to do winged liner on you. I would freak out too. <laughs> no. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And, yeah, so if you're tired of me talking, you could probably fast forward a little bit, and then I'll probably actually start the video. Um, but, yeah, so <laughs> how are you feeling, McKenna? I'm ready. You are ready? I'm ready. Are you excited? Yeah, a little bit. The first thing that we're going to do today, McKenna doesn't need a whole lot of filling in with her brows. Um, she's gifted. Mine are very caterpillar right now. There might be one eyebrow at the moment. They're getting <laughs> redone too. Because you already have pretty full brows, I'm going to do the brow powder on you. So I'm just filling in her brows with this powder right now to make it look like she has her brows filled in basically. It's not going to be super intense because her brows are already naturally beautiful as is McKenna. Oh, thank so. you, thank you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done my eyebrows so it's like really? Weird. That's so funny. Hold on, I'm already like, sweating. <gasps> Here. I really want to tweeze your eyebrows but that's not my place to do. Dude, you have it. a you have an eyebrow person already. I cannot take her place. Terry's gonna rip the shit out of my face. <laughs> I texted Terry, I was like, please make me a naked mole rat. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, we'll do. <laughs> I've seen her in so Hello. long. Who's doing your brows? Hi, Me! Terry. Hi! Oh, I thought Terry was there. I was like, <laughs> Do you brows <laughs> Terry, right? <laughs> um, no, I'm in her YouTube. Do you discount at the booty barn? Uh, 45 to 50% depending on the brand. You heard okay. it here first. <laughs> Um, Nowhere. I'm filming her. I'm filming a video for my YouTube channel, and she's the feature. Everybody say hi to Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to buy a T-shirt, text oh, me. Oh yeah, shameless plug for Caitlin's T-shirt fundraiser. Yes. <laughs> They're really cute. Expensive. They're Texas A&M shirts. They're really cute. They say howdy. McKenna's newly single. Hey. No. I have money again, y'all. She has money. She can be your sugar mama. No, I will never be anybody's <laughs> sugar mama. She's tired of being mama, a sugar dude. mama. Someone be my sugar she daddy. She's over it. She's over it. Be my sugar daddy without being creepy. <laughs> On a real note, though. <laughs> like, and be my age. Can someone pay my tuition without me doing anything creepy for you? Please I feel like a you. unicorn. 
Do you know how I used to have the same hamper as you? Except purple. Really? That's so funny. That one. Well, I still technically have it, but my mom got mad at me because I had it for so long. <sighs> she goes, that's a baby one. And I was like, well, it still carries clothes, so it works. But my mom got mad. She got me a new hamper for Christmas. And it's literally even, like, kiddier than the one that I have. <laughs> it has, like, baby elephants on it. Oh, my God. I'm like, yo, not even mad. Not even mad. I like elephants. Effelins are great. Who doesn't love elephants? I fucking love elephants. I don't trust people who don't like animals. Honestly, so true. Always trust your animals, people. True. McKenna should have listened to hers, like, t how long? Two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. Two my years dog ago. was on point. Moms and dogs are the best when it comes to foretelling relationships. And guts. Just, Listen uh... Listen to your tummy. Okay, so now we're gonna do McKenna's face, the rest of her fotch. Oh, my <laughs> what? My what now? Her fotch. <laughs> um... So, the primer, what kind of skin do you have? You have, like, regular skin. My forehead's, like, really dry, but the rest is regular. Okay. So, I'm going to... We'll use the spray, then. Okay. So, I'm going to be using the Smashbox uh, X Nicole Cancilio Primer Water, and it's scented. This is Centering Citrus. I had literally, like, I'm not even completely through the coconut one, but it's on the floor, it and one? I'm not getting up. <laughs> so, McKenna's going to get sprayed a little bit. Hold on, we're going to... Make sure that you're more. There, we, there okay. we go. Okay. There we go. Mmm, it smells good. Right? It smells like citrus. I feel like I should not be like drinking it, but like. Uh. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna fan that bitch dry. Where's my folding board? It's the best thing. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just laughed. No, it's fine. <laughs> that smells very citrusy. Holy shit, talking mushrooms. <laughs> this literally is doing absolutely nothing. I don't know why I thought that would work. Okay, so now that that's done, McKenna and I are very similar in our paleness. So, I'm going to, I personally mix two of the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundations. I'm mixing these two colors together on my face right now. That's what I'm wearing. Um, in McKenna's case, I feel like yeah, that, that might cold. be like hella what You can't even see it on the camera. It's just like... Um, okay, so what we're going to do is... It looks way too white for you. We're going to do probably more of the lighter shade and mix it in with a little bit of the darker shade. This is Alabaster and Nude. Mm -hmm. So we will be doing probably more of the Alabaster shade, but I'll be mixing it. <laughs> you can see where I mixed in my foundation earlier because it totally does not match. <laughs> it's okay, no judgment. Okay, hold on. We're just going to... Wipe that Schmear on. it. <laughs> Ew, stop. But no. I've been Let's marked. never do that ever again. <sighs> Please and thank you. No. Boop. <laughs> Leaves the other side. <laughs> Did you say your five head? Yeah. That was fantastic. Okay. I came out so much more on your nose than hey. it did on your chin. That was great. Alright, keep your face like relaxed so that way I can get all the crevices. The crevasses. The crevasses. Sorry, I'm kinda I'm not trying to break your face. I'm just trying to Okay, just be careful on this cheekbone because that one hurts. <laughs> okay, yeah. McKenna, McKenna fell face first into her desk the other day. Um, excuse me, it was and... not day, it was the middle of the night. Okay, well, oh, it was in the middle of the night? <laughs> yes, that's why I was so mad no oh, one hurt no. me. Oh my god. <laughs> like, you're just, you're literally, like, I literally could have died and, like, literally. been taken in somebody, like, you would never have known, so thanks for, yeah, I was like, thanks oh. for the help, y'all. I was like, thanks. This actually matches you pretty well. Favorite dog, favorite dog. Favorite dog. <laughs> I tell my dad that all the time. I'm like, I'm your favorite dadder. He goes, No, you're not. <laughs> oh my god. And I go, Yes, so I am. I'm the one that talks crazy. to you every day. He goes, That's because you have to. <laughs> you live here. You don't have a choice. <laughs> exactly. So now we're gonna go in with some Kylie concealer, which I actually really like. I like this, not necessarily more than shape tape, but like it's it's a pretty good dupe if you're looking to spend pretty much the exact same amount of money. <laughs> um, or if you just want to try something new that's not the Tarte Shape Tape, I recommend this. This is in the shade Ivory, and McKenna, again, is very light like me, so it's, gonna, it's fine. I just did it again. Just, it, you know, just close up. your eye and then like kind of go up like that. There we go. I'm just gonna like wiggle into your eye a little bit. Go for it. There we go. I went naked face today because I was coming over. I wanted. 
the brave customers of Dick's Sporting Goods had to face me. <laughs> I mean, they were there, so that's kind of their fault, not yours. Dude, it's a Thursday. Why are there so many people at the mall? Spring break. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but, like, it was great. all adults. Like, do you guys not have jobs? <laughs> Dude, okay, so for my um, art history class at Kalu, um, I had to go to the museum, or like any museum basically, and I have to write a three-page paper on like the exhibit that I saw and how mm -hmm. it relates to like the stuff you've learned in class. And it took me longer to get there than it did to actually like be at the museum. Because I went to the Autry Museum of the West, and first of all, it's a small-ass museum, so like their collections and exhibitions and stuff, unless there's like something exciting popping up that's like, oh, we have this exhibit open from this state to this state, then it's like the regular, um, the regular exhibition that's always there is mm -hmm. literally so small that like you can look at everything in like 30 minutes <clears throat> and get like everything you need to know. That's Which insane. is funny because some of the stuff that like we were going to do, me and my friend were going to do a guided tour because we mm -hmm. were like, oh, it'll be more information. We knew like everything that they were already saying. Yeah, like this so I was like, okay. Helpful. <laughs> so we ended up not doing the guided tour because we got there a little bit late, but I was like, whatever. So we ended up just doing it ourselves and I was like okay well you know not mad about it but it was like I spent so much more time like and she lives in Sherman Oaks so I had to pick her up from Sherman Oaks no shade to Rosie love you but um it was just like like getting her and then going to the museum and then taking her back and then going home I was like I'm really over the 405 today like don't move to California Please. There's too many people There's on the road. There's too many people here. <laughs> nobody knows how to merge. I have one thing to say to y'all. If you're getting on the freeway and there's nobody in front of you, please go at least 65. <laughs> why are we getting on the freeway You should be 20? going 65 even if somebody's in front of you. This <laughs> is why people hate... Ge blah, 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 blah. I just... Oh, God. So I'm getting heated. It's <laughs> why people hate California drivers. Yeah, like, get on the freeway the speed limit. Like, that's why you have such long on-ramp. Use it. We are going in with the Airspun Translucent Powder. This is the extra coverage. It's like, it's translucent, but it's like extra coverage. I recently got the Kylie Powder, and I was thinking about doing a review between the Airspun Powder and the Kylie Powder, but I'm just going to say it now. Don't get the Kylie Powder unless you like a really natural look, because it just, it makes like, it doesn't really cover up a lot of stuff that you want to be covered up. So like, if you have dark circles or bags, don't. Like, I mean, I'll still use it, but it's like, me. I'm not excited about it. Look up. I need a new movie, buddy. I need someone who <laughs> likes scary movies. I hate scary movies. I'm I know not, you do. I'm not your fave. Sorry. Um, don't judge me. I've never been a person to do scary movies. I think just because, like, most of my friends like like the psychological horror films. And oh, I, I just, love those. I can't do it. Like, I can do, like, the old ones that are, like, Freddy vs. Jason or, like, Nightmare on Elm Street up. is still kind of like sketch because it's like psychological, so I'm not a huge fan. But I can watch like the older ones because it's like the special effects are super like obvious for us, obviously mm -hmm. because it's like it's so much different now. But like, I've just never been able to like saw. No, saw's disgusting. No, it's not scary. Saw is a no. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Um, High five, my five. <laughs> <laughs> saw is a no. Um. Insidious is a no. Ooh, that's a good one. I can't, I can't do those times, of, those kinds of movies. Like the spirit stuff. Mm -mm, not about it. Well, I, the only person me. that watches scary movies with me is my mom. No one else is like, I don't like them. I'm like, please close your <laughs> please. eyes. I'll buy your ticket. Take a nap. Take a nap. I just want someone to come with me. Yeah. I always have to go by myself because my dad's like horrified. Oh. I love how we're doing your makeup at like eight o'clock at night. We are going nowhere after this. Spring break, hardcore. Yeah. You don't know that. We could be going somewhere. True. <laughs> all the way down to the Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the way to Starbucks. Oh my god. Oh look, I got a snappy from Jimothy. I did too. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Should I send that one? Yes, please. Hold on, I saved it. Let me see Aww. what this is. Okay, my boyfriend's mom is hella cute and <laughs> is like painting rocks. And he painted, she painted one for him that's like his occupation related. I don't want to say what it is right now just because I, I don't know if don't he wants it. people to know. So, um, uh, it's occupation related, but it's super cute. And she just sent, or he just sent me a picture. Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> um, he just sent me a picture of this and it's like a life, a life. What is this? Life. I almost had a lifeboat. It's a lighthouse. God, thank you. Um, but it's so cute. And that stuff is just like super adorable. So 
Shout out to my boyfriend's mom for being hella cute. I love you. Um, so I'm gonna go in on some bronzer to make this that really bronzed up. Your girl nice, some color. Nice She's a cowgirl white. look. I don't ask me why. Just well, let's just go with it. So I'm using the Cheekathon palette. I've had this for a hot minute. You can see I've used well into this palette. I haven't hit pan on anything yet, but I'm sure it's coming soon. <laughs> We're gonna use the Hoola Light right now on McKenna because she is Ghostly. a little paler than me. So I'm gonna try that first and see how that looks on her. There's not enough time in the day to go outside between jobs. There's a <laughs> so ah, I got it. Go ahead and just like do that. Right. Always bronze up back to your ear. True. You want your face to match your rest of your face. That made no sense. You y'all know what I mean. It's fine. McKenna bronzed up is like hello. Remember when McKenna used to be the darkest one in the group? Oh my god! That was yes. when McKenna actually went outside. <laughs> Back when McKenna played sports. Mm -hmm. Sports life. Sports literally has broken me. <laughs> Dude, my hips are so messed up from cheer and dance, it's ridiculous. Like, they're so bad. And it's like, if I don't, like, do leg day for one week, then it's like, my hips are like, um, excuse me, we need to be stretched, what are you doing? Like, how dare you ignore us? Do you want to hear my shoulder? Oh my <laughs> god! Please tell me y'all I will literally up the volume on the camera specifically for that. Ew! <laughs> oh my god, McKenna, how? Throwing is an unnatural motion <laughs> that takes a toll Softball on your Softball is an unforgiving sport, y'all. We should low-key, like, a Dairy Queen or something after this. I'll be popping. God, we gotta so go somewhere. I'm always, like... Let's go get food. <laughs> like, okay, girl needs to do some fucking cardio. I've had all damn week off and I have done nothing. You want to go do cardio tomorrow? I have. I have I'll slept, do cardio though. with you. I always do the sides of the chin, even though this is more of like a contour area, just because it's the chin. Like, I have a very in. round face. Please make me look like I have a chin. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with some dandelion blush from the same palette. It's the bottom shade right here, right there. Um, <laughs> So this is going to go on the apples of her cheeks. My nose is itchy, It's okay. That's the worst is when your nose is itchy and you have makeup on. Oh my god, it's the absolute worst. I'm not picking it. It's just itchy. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to go in and do her highlight. And McKenna is more of a natural glow person. So I'm going to take the... Sorry about these noise. No, it's fine. I'm going to take the... James Charles palette. Damn, so there's technically like two because he did their holiday collection two years ago, I think. But this is the James Charles palette. My baby. I love it. It's my fave. Spot it. I haven't had enough time to uh, to really dig into it, but I've, I've done a little bit of damage. So we're going to go in with the shade Face, which is right here. And we're going to highlight Miss McQuen's face. Queen Queen in the building, yo. I always say like, oh, natural highlight, and then I do this. <laughs> it's like, no. Oh my gosh, a natural highlight looks so freaking pretty on you. What the hell? Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Alright, face the, do this whole thing. Ooh, I see. Oh, cute. We be popping. Okay. It's like, a, it's like, not like crazy, but it's like, it like fades down. It's too. cute. It's cute. Oh my god. Okay, let's just jump back a step real quick and <laughs> rewind. Get McKenna's nose. Get my smoother on point. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I'm trying to be very particular with McKenna's nose contour because I've seen so many people who will like post a picture or a video of their contour and I'm like, blend out your nose. It's so frustrating. Okay, so now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um... So, okay, so now we're gonna go into doing McKenna's eyeshadow, and to do that, we have to put down a base first. So, for that base, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Teeth Concealer. I've had this for so long, I don't think it's like never ending, but I really should get a new one. Um, I'm just going to do a dot on both of her eyelids, and then I'm gonna blend it out with a flat brush. I think it would be interesting if we had some question and answers about McKenna. Since this is a video featuring McKenna. Probably should have done this like the beginning of the video, but oh well. So, McKenna. Ashley. What is your biggest... Rude! <laughs> Jimmy! 
<laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? Ooh. <laughs> Loud chewing. I feel like that's everybody in the world's biggest pet peeve. No, but like, when it's quiet and I... Oh god, that's awful. It's so awful. So, we have loud chewing. Anything else? I mean, I gotta come back to that one. I really gotta think about it. Okay. What is your favorite color? What color is my favorite to wear? Or what is, like, my favorite color in general? Both. I like to wear, like, dark blacks and grays. Dark, dark black. <laughs> Extra dark black. Not just black. Dark black. <laughs> dark black. <laughs> that was great. Just like how I like my dogs. <laughs> um, Honestly true. But, like, I mean, I like pastel colors. I love that for you. That I got kind of, awesome. like, called out about it at my other job because they told me the only thing I buy are the pastel shirts. And I'm like, and I'm sorry. You're like, what's your point? <laughs> are you getting the money from it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Alright, close your eyes. We're just doing your, your ass shit. My ass shit. Okay. So then, okay, so we have your favorite colors to wear and your favorite colors in general. What is your favorite flower? Sunflower. Same! I love sunflowers. They're cute and they taste good. Sunflower okay. seeds. No, well, <laughs> duh. Nobody just, I would hope that none of you have ever gone up and just eaten the sunflower before. Probably not healthy for you. Just a... No, I can just, like, imagine somebody just walking out like a cow. Like, just public service announcement. Don't go and eat straight flowers. It's probably not healthy for you. Unless they're, like, approved. FDA approved. FDA approved. approved. <laughs> Organic. Vegan. <laughs> oh, my God. What is your favorite memory from high school? Mm. She's like, fuck high school. I don't have any favorite memories. Favorite memory was walking out and never turning around. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Me as fuck. Oh my god. Um, probably all the old Greg. I'm old Greg! And no one knowing what I were talking about. And like Honestly game days. True. Game days. I feel that. Game days when you got to walk out half through, halfway through class. Like, bye I would days. always get so nervous for game days just because I was like, there's so much pressure. I love game but it's days. it's like, it's still fun though. Game days are I miss I miss cheer sometimes. I miss being part of a team sometimes, but at the same time I'm like that tickled my eyeball. Do I? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I definitely miss being part of a team. I I think it's not just being part of the team, it's like It's you're, like a second family. Yeah, well you're also it's like you're you're involved in something that's like bigger than yourself and like a lot of like younger kids like look up to you and mm -hmm. like wanna be like you. So I think that's probably one of the sweetest parts of that that I really enjoyed. Okay, so that we did that. We're gonna go into this next shade. I'm using the Morphe 35, what the fuck is this? The 35V palette, Ooh. but this is the sh uh, palette that I actually used on my eyes today, and uh, it's very nice. It's it's like a nude rose blue, like it goes from like that fade, you though. know what I mean? <laughs> like it's just, I like it because it's, I feel like it's a different kind of palette. You don't usually see those. You usually see like nudes and roses or like colors or like just straight up like nude brown palettes which if I see another one of those I swear to god all right so we have your favorite high school memory what is if you could go back in time and change something about your life besides the obvious that we're thinking of right now what would you change um You give know. me hard questions. <laughs> I have to, like, I'm trying to be like authentic, like get to know McKenna time. I have to think hard for those. Okay. Well, I okay. Can't. I'll give I'll give an example. So like, in high school, I was like so concerned about what everybody else thought of me, as like every high schooler is. Oh, but like I used to go to McKenna school. McKenna did not, I give not a get shit. one vibe. But <laughs> but I I think it was just because like I was so concerned with like wanting to like I was that person that like I wanted to make sure I fit in. And I wanted to like, I wanted people to like me. And like, I feel like as like when you're growing up, like that just happens. Like you're just, you tend, besides McKenna, you tend to be somebody who wants to be like a part of that whole culture. But I think that like, if I could go back and like tell myself something different, I'd be like, first of all, <laughs> don't waste your fucking time with certain people. <laughs> but um, I'd be like, 
stop giving a shit about what everybody else thinks because after you graduate, like, no one's gonna care at all about what you're doing. Like, nobody cares. Always we all think we care because <laughs> we all think we care because we have, like, Instagram and social media and stuff. It's like, yeah, it's interesting to see, like, all the positive things that happen to people, but then at the same time, it's like you're hyping up your life so much on social media and it's like you, nobody really cares. Nope. So, um, I think that's the biggest thing that I would change about myself is that, like, but I also think that comes with learning and, like, just living life and figuring out what's actually worth caring about and what's not. Mm. So I definitely think that I, I would have done it over my senior year a lot more just because of how I spent it and the people I spent it with. Um, but yeah, I think if you're in high school or for whatever reason you're in high school and you're watching this video, if you just like makeup or whatever, like, first of all, thank you for watching my video. <laughs> um, second of all, like, it seems like it's the biggest freaking deal in the world to, like, be, like, cool or whatever, and honestly, like, no one cares. Like, after you graduate, it's like, it, don't worry about it. Like, it's so, it so does not matter. So, like, if you're a person that's, like, struggling, like, I promise you it gets better. I have, like, thrived, like, in my personal opinion. I have thrived after I graduated high school, mostly because I, I dropped some dead weight. But, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped 100 pounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, um, when you focus on, like, what's actually important, like, the people who are actually around you, who actually care about you, it's so much better, and you just learn so much more about yourself, and I think that's part of growing up, but, like, if I could help anybody realize that, then I'm happy, so take my advice, don't give so much craps about what people think about you, don't worry about the guy who will peak in high school, because he'll be, like, fat and ugly <laughs> in about two days, <laughs> not a real love, though, um, just do you, and the rest will follow. Because I know a lot of people that thought they were the shit in high school and, like, teased people that I know, and now they're, like, thriving, and they're all looking at each other like, oh, wow, like, you know, like, oh, I knew you were going to go places, and it's like, no, you didn't. You sure didn't act like it. <laughs> so, don't... I'm sorry, do I know your name? While I'm up right? here, you're dying. I'm sorry. <laughs> do I know you? Like, obviously, like, respect each other and, like, just ignore you know people I mean? that are negative. But like, yeah, just like don't let the negativity affect your life because it's not gonna matter in the next five years. Like, they're not gonna, they're likely not gonna be a part of your life in the next five years. So like, me and something that like my boyfriend has taught me is that like, if it's not gonna matter in five, if, if it's not gonna matter in five days, let alone five weeks or years or months, like, don't worry about it. Because it's like, things blow over, like, on that sorry, <laughs> I talk a lot with my hands. Oh, I know. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, just don't worry about it. Life will, like, come to you as it's supposed to. And don't worry about, like, if you're a misfit or, like, just not popular. Whatever that even means, I guess. I don't know. But, um, just do you. And the rest will follow. So, mm, life think... advice from Ashley and McKenna. Yeah. But I think if I had to change one thing, now that I was thinking about it, mm -hmm. is, um, not taking or looking into all the scholarships that I was offered. Because, like, I, I was that. offered a whole bunch to go play back east mm -hmm. and, like, over in Maine. Um, and I just insisted on staying here because I didn't want to miss my dog. <laughs> He's my child. <laughs> the real reason you stay home from school for your dog. It's really hard to leave your dog. It I'm is. not going to lie. I feel that. Because, like, I could have been playing right now. Who knows? I probably could have even, like, been graduated. But, yeah. Your girl stuck over took here a different trying to life transfer. Path. <laughs> Yeah. Took a, a long life path. I feel you. Took the long Yeah, words of the wise, if you're a transfer student, don't talk to your community college's counselors, because ours suck. Talk to whatever counselors, if you can, of the universities that you're trying to transfer to, because they're going to have the best information. Mm -hmm. Don't Email talk to them. community colleges. They Email suck. them if you're too far it's away. It's a waste of time. They're a counselor at a community college for a reason. Like, no offense to y'all, but at least the people that we went to school with, like, they don't know anything. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm taking 22 units, trying to graduate on time. Thanks, Moore Park. <laughs> um, but yeah, Should don't recommend Moore? taking 22 units, by the way. No, don't do that. You're overloaded. It's a good conversation piece and probably a good interview question for, like, when have you handled stress before? But <laughs> other than that, I wouldn't recommend, like, being like, hey, let's do this. Mm -hmm. But yeah. What do you think are some good tips that we can give people on, like, college life? If they're, like, getting into college or, like, they're just starting college. I mean, I've only gone to a community college so far, so... Yeah, but college is college. Like, you're still going somewhere. You know um, what I mean? 
try and get into like clubs. Find your place right there. For sure. I like, feel that. My SIM card got full and I had to download all my footage onto my laptop before we could continue. So now that that's done, we were talking about um, like advice to give people that are going into college and McKenna was talking about joining clubs. And or like your or team in your team or yeah. sororities wherever you're going who cares um but definitely join something especially like in my case cal lutheran does not have greek life sad day honestly really depressed about that <laughs> um mostly because like it's such like a suburban neighborhood that there's literally no space it's in thousand greek oaks. it's in thousand oaks so Unless they just like bought a neighborhood and was like, here you go. That'd be bougie as hell. I mean, honestly, they have the money. Let's be real, Kalu students. We're spending our souls to be at this school, so. <laughs> um, but like, get involved for sure. Like, I got involved at clubs at school because I knew that, like, we didn't have Greek life, so I really didn't have. That way, thank you. We really didn't have a choice of like we had to join clubs, and I'm actually a part of a club that kind of has a mini sorority thing kind of built into it which sounds kind of weird but it's basically like we have a big and little part of our program so if you want to have like that big little experience then you can join that particular club um it's called her campus i know a lot of different um schools have them i know some schools who have sororities and fraternities don't have her campus because like they don't need that part so but it is a lot of universities, so you're if you're at a school where there isn't Greek life or there's just that club in general and you maybe you don't want to be in a sorority but you want to have the whole big little vibe, definitely would recommend uh, her campus. It's always good to have um, a group of people you can always go to. Yeah, for sure. Oh, my nose is to help you out with stuff. Absolutely. Have you ever noticed how weird our high school friend group was? What do you mean? Like, how diverse it was, like, sports Oh, players. yeah, for sure. Like, okay, so in high school, I played water polo for a year with um, our, two of our other friends. And, or actually, three of our other friends. It was... Yeah, Taylor, too. Yeah. Um, I love how you and I were both thinking yeah, like, it was also like Taylor. <laughs> like, we were both thinking of Megan and Regina. Um, but, so basically, I was in water polo for a year, mostly because I didn't plan on doing any sports in high school. I just planned on doing PE and, like, being there. And I ended up getting somehow like recruited into water polo because my PE coach was the dry land coach. Oh, they tried to recruit me and too. I said, your girl's going to sink. <laughs> and, uh, oh, sorry. Right. no, it's fine. And it was actually a lot of fun. I was a goalie. Uh, thank God. Cause I did not have the endurance to keep up with all the other people swimming across the pool. That's so exhausting. Shout out to anybody who does water polo. That shit swimming is hard, 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 is hard with a capital H. <laughs> that shit was ridiculous. Um, and then I've, me and my other friend have done dance for like a majority of our lives so um, I decided that I wanted to try out for cheer which I did for the last three years of high school which honestly was probably the best thing I ever did for myself especially because like mostly people tend to try out for teams like with friends and I was the one person who didn't really try out like with a friend like I knew people but I wasn't friends with them which made it kind of hard to like get into the whole like friend thing so that was definitely difficult so if you can get into a sport like at the beginning of high school I would definitely try to do that because it, it's easier for you to like make friends than it is for you to like go in like part of the way through mm -hmm. so if you can do that for sure do it um but it definitely was something that took me so far outside my comfort zone and it like just did so much for me like you perform in front of the school you do so much shit and it's like it's a lot of pressure and it can be very judgmental in terms of like there are people watching you doing what you're doing but it was honestly one of the best things I ever did. I had, I personally really liked my coaches. Um, <laughs> I liked your coaches when I did yeah. too. <laughs> McKenna was a competitive cheerleader when she was younger. A lot younger. A lot like younger. 10. Like tiny? Yeah. <laughs> and so um, we had, I really liked our coaches. It was just a very overall, like, really good experience to be part of, like, a leadership kind of thing like that. It was really fun. Um, and then I did, I've done dance, like, almost my entire life. I stopped after high school because, like, you Kinda just, happy. you can't really go after that unless you're doing it in college. And I wasn't really, like, I only liked hip-hop, everything other than that I just wasn't a fan of. So I didn't have the technique to be able to, like, do anything after that, which kind of sucked. But I was like, oh, well, like, whatever, I'll live. Um, but definitely, like, if you can join anything um, that's a team or an activity in high school or college, 
definitely do that because I think it for sure enriches your experience and like the amount of time that you actually get to know other people and like that helps you with just like being well rounded too because that shit looks good on college resumes. Sure does. Um, but yeah, so why is there fluff everywhere? Jesus. What the fluff? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I would definitely recommend that. I know we're like blabbering, but I genuinely think that that could is some good advice. No, but I was saying so. our friend group is like really weird. Oh my god, I totally got off topic. <laughs> like so much of a tangent. <laughs> Because, like, usually, if you look, like, around our school, if you looked around, everyone was grouped together by, like, sport. For sure. So there was, like, the baseball players, the football players, the softball players, the cheerleaders, the water polo girls, the <laughs> Except water polo for me. Boys. I was the cheerleader that was not always around That's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> the only person. Our group was, like, weird. It was, because we, we all had grew up together. Water polo. We yeah. had softball. softball. We had cheer. Mm -hmm. And soccer. Then soccer. Who did soccer? Oh, Sam. Sam. Oh, and then we had lacrosse. Yeah. Because they did lacrosse too. And then we had one person that just didn't do anything. Like, no sports. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded really bad. She just didn't no, do any sports. She just didn't do sports. Which is fine. Like, you don't have to. But it was. it's interesting to see how, like, so many different people can match together. And we're honestly really lucky because a lot of people don't get to grow up having the same friend group that they did their entire life. A lot of people, like, they get new friends or they lose some of those friends and they have a smaller group. Yeah. But our like, group like it went did together, get a little smaller apart, and it went back together it, it, again. Yeah, on a real note though, like it really did. Um like my freshman year of high school, like honestly, Loki, our our friend group at the time was going through kind of like a transition. A transition. <laughs> like I think it was just like going into high school kind of a thing. And it was one of those things where like I personally just didn't feel really welcome in our group anymore and so and because like we all were like oh where are our lockers gonna be like i don't know and i ended up having my locker on the complete opposite side of school hey i had mine was, like, in it wasn't the middle your fault. all the seniors wasn't your fault by you myself the other one that was by yourself i too. was like hello all you large and in charge people may i shimmy in please <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but look at me like this it was like freshman. like i had i like made a new a couple new friends like my freshman year but it was like there were select people in our group that kind of like stopped being friends with us. Yeah, I was and like, like those you know? were the people that were kind of like causing the issues. So after that happened, like we all kind of came back together, and like I was more involved in our friend group again, and it was so nice. It was like really regroup. I definitely <laughs> felt weird like being with people who weren't the people that I had spent like my entire life with. So it's definitely an adjustment, but like if, obviously if you can make new friends, like make new friends. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but like especially if you have like if you feel like your friends are like being kind of toxic to you It's okay to take a step back because if you're like me sometimes like you meant you end up going back Which is fine. Sometimes people need to grow and realize stuff like it's totally fine. You need to realize so, things. They do Kylie did it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're realizing I'm totally <laughs> This is like the year of realizing things. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow anyway um God Welcome. That was great. Um, yeah, I'm just like blending the shit out of McKenna's eye right now. There's like nothing on this brush anymore. It's blend, just blend, blend. blending the shit out of her eyes. Um, but yeah, so it's okay to like have a diverse group of friends. It's okay to not be friends with just the people on your team. It's okay to most definitely like, make friends outside. Or your team. if you're in band, so many of the band. Welcome. Kids I love together. the band people. Like, that was amazing. My boyfriend used to be in band when he was in high school. He some went from the, band to lacrosse, like so different. But some of the band people are like hilarious. Like low really key, are. you need to get to know them. They They're really are. They're freaking so hilarious. Funny. Matthew Blazy. Oh my <laughs> god. Shout out to Matthew. Not that you'll like ever watch this video because I highly doubt it. But you were awesome. There was one time that I will like always remember when I was cheering in. We Matthew and I were in French together, and he was like, "Oh yeah, like we're gonna like shout you out one of these days." And I was like, "Oh yeah, okay." Because like, why would he do that? And there was literally we were in the middle of a football game, and the whole band shout shouts like they stand up and shout, "We love you, Ashley!" And I was like, <laughs> "Wait, like, are they talking to me?" Like I was so confused. And I this Ashley? Around, or that yeah, Ashley? I was like, "What?" And all the, the entire team looked at me like, "What? Why?" <laughs> I don't understand. And I was just like. I feel so proud. Like, I feel so special. And I turned around and Matthew's like waving his hand like, hey, it's me. And I was like, you're like, I love you. I love you. That was honestly one of the best experiences ever. It was so cool. But yeah, so there's that. And it's like, like I said, it's okay to, to not be with the people that you grew up with for a little bit. If it means like you're doing some growing, they're doing some growing, people might leave. It's fine. <laughs> Probably for the better, to be honest. T-B-A-T-H. <laughs> Just some... That's the real tea. The real tea is that some people need to grow up. Oh! Um, <laughs> I want to retweet that real hard. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, so... 
there's just things that you learn when you're in high school and honestly like looking back you realize so much of it like I get yeah. now like as an adult like why people are always like don't worry about what they say and in high school you're like no but like what they say matters and it's like no, no. trust me it really doesn't like mm -hmm. I promise you it doesn't okay so now that we've done that we're going to put some mascara on you and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal telescopic mascara because this shit makes your eyelashes long so oh shit Sorry. okay how do we do this Honestly, like, if you want to do it yourself, you can. Okay. If that makes you feel any better. <laughs> I don't know if it does or not. I just felt like you feel my eyeball over here. <laughs> just, can I use your mirror? Yeah. Go ahead. Can here, I just grab? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to shit over. <laughs> just use this. Okay. So that way the, the crowd can see you. Move over more this way. There Sorry, we go. crowd. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I remember when I was younger and I was in dance and my mom would have to do my makeup before a recital or like for recital pictures Funny story. I used to oh. absolutely detest putting makeup on my face. I actually hated it like, I was the person that put makeup I, on. Yeah, I kind of was the one who put makeup on and I was the one who absolutely could not stand it Like my mom would put mascara on and I would be like no like I felt like I couldn't blink Okay, so we're gonna go in this is my go-to honestly So my favorite nude lipstick at least one of my favorites is the lime crime Velveteen in the shade L. It's a very nice like just nice nude lipstick like you really can't go wrong with it And it works like perfectly with McKenna's eye look today, so um, okay, I'm going time. to add is, Where's Lulu? Is this Lulu? It's Pamela <laughs> God damn it Pamela. Where's Linda? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with Lulu, which is this one and it's going it's slightly like more nude -er. It's like a lighter nude for her. So I'm gonna make this like kind of an ombre look so we're gonna put this, part? yeah, in like the center of her lips. Okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to set McKenna with some setting spray. Oh, flinchy flinch. Yes, this okay. is the NYX Cosmetics Matte But Not Flat, I think. Okay. <laughs> the squirt. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, the what? <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna fan the shit out of McKenna's face, so it'll last all night long, all two hours that she's it's gonna be wearing this one. already nine. So, here's the final look. We have McKenna and her new... Charlie One Horse? Her new, um, what'd you call it? Her new Yeehaw My hat. New yeehaw? Her new Yeehaw My hat. New yeehaw hat. And so, McKenna works at Boot Barn as well, so go, go visit her, give her some customers. Um, so Outside, yeah, this is the final look. I actually really like the way that this came out. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> the whole YouTuber like, yeah, that's doing it for you. So funny. I probably just did that so cringe. Really, There's I'm my so crazy sorry. afro um, hair. You're welcome. Yeah, obviously, you can style your hair however you want to. For this case, because McKenna only really has two hairstyles, we're gonna use the one with her hair down. So, um, this is my yeehaw. We for those of you that go to the Canyon Club, I personally don't know what you use. I, I see a lot of people with their hair down anyway, so McKenna would probably straighten her hair if she were to actually go. Probably. But just be, for the sakes of this video, this is just what it would look like. Um, hair so hair hair. we have like brows that aren't like super like full, but like they're they look natural, but they're also like filled in. We have a really cute like bronzy. Uh, glam eyeshadow, but it's also really natural. Um, we have a full freaking beat of makeup, and she looks hella bronzy and real cute. And thank you, thank you. Hit her up; she's single. So <laughs> yes, um, yeah. Did you have fun today, McKenna? I did. You had fun. Mm -hmm. The world has now seen the McKenna and Ashley friendship in, in full, action. In full. This is the. Behind the scenes there. of the real life. <laughs> Honestly, on a real note though, this is literally how we act in our everyday life. Like, there is no difference. There is no difference. Um, but yeah, I look forward to having more of my friends on my channel. Hopefully I can coerce some of them. Um, I would love to bring Jimmy back. I can't promise anything because I have no idea if he's going Jimothy! to do that anymore. That was a really funny video in my personal opinion. It was great. Um, but yeah, so... Here's McKenna in all of her glory. Um, for those of you who go to the Canyon Club, um, this one's kind of for you guys, just because I know a lot of people that do that. We know a lot of people that go there. Like, obviously, the Canyon Club has become your guys' new home, and as a community, we're all still kind of, you know, recuperating from everything that happened, and that obviously was, like, it was a very hard time for everybody. So this one's for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post on YouTube. It's a lot fewer and further between than on Instagram. I try to post on Instagram more often just because people are more on it, I guess, more. I don't I can't talk, whatever. Um, Y'all know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so I thought that since I'm on spring break, this would be a cool little video to film. And yeah, hopefully after I graduate, I will be doing more of these and have more time to film more of these. So yes. yeah. Um, any final words, McKenna? No. No? No. Let's go get cookie dough. Let's go get cookie dough. Solid. Cookie dough. Solid answer. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Love y'all. Deuces. <laughs>